presentation. Uh, yeah, so let me see everything is okay. Thank you so much for attending my presentation today. Thank you so much for ATIFI to invite my presentation at ATIFI Type Technology Forum 2021st. That my name is Yeo Hyun and I'm an assistant professor tempo typography education. So I'm going to go to next slide. Plural typography is a design trend that combines typography, calligraphy, and lettering with a plural element. With the help of plural elements, we can create very tempting and vivid artworks in which the typography seems to be shaped by plants and flowers. I'm going to go to the Next one. This is floral posters series by Alexandra uh, Kukakobi to express flourishing visual effect with the text flower and flowers. I'm gonna go to the next one. Yeah, loading is a little slow. Then I'm gonna go to the next one. Also, this is wedding invitation by Roman Kuhlman. Uh, and right one is a floral typography design. We love you so much by Gregory Maracon. Then I'm gonna go to the next one. Cool. It's a little slow. Then I'm using the PDF uh, for the presentation. The next one is modern calligraphy in floral watercolor with pure joy in every step. Also, the letter A on the right, watercolor floral alphabets. Then you can see, I'm gonna go to the next one. Also, floral fonts, like a flora, aloha, has been used for calligraphy, lettering, typeface, poster, and invitational card, etc. And I'm gonna go to the next one, inspiration. This project, let me go to the next presentation. Okay, I need to, okay, here, I have to just scroll my PDF file. My inspiration that I was heavily inspired by, Marianne Benjes. She is a very expressive illustrator and typographer that also she is using natural floral element to construct, I want it all. She is well known for her custom lettering, integrate, uh, integrate patterning, and decorative style. That's my inspiration. I'm gonna go to the background of this project. And here, go to the next one. Can you see? Yes. This project began with uh, the floral illustration, even flowers, overflow, the flowers the clouds, the wind, and the open sea. Praise, praise Jesus, singing in the sky, my soul, Lord of grace, Lord of grace. The sky opens on that day, everyone will see. Finally, the flowers bloom, the Lord of glory will come. I used processing. Processing is a programming language for artists and designers initiated by Ben Fry and Casey's. We can download the processing for free from the website at the bottom, processing.org. I'm gonna go to the next one. So it is my plural illustration by using processing. If you see that it's a very simple code, it has two functions like a setup function, draw function. Then screen size 800 pixel by 800 pixel. Background is black. I'm using translate in draw function. It's a center of duplicate the pedals. I'm using for statement to duplicate uh, pedals. Also, I'm using base of vertex, create specific shape like a pedal. Then I'm gonna go to the next one. Then I duplicated flowers by using flower, no, 
mouse x mouse y functions by using translate function in illust in process i randomize the size of the flowers by using random function in processing and you can see i'm gonna go to the next one go to the that you can see that my simple illustration in processing by using uh, translate mouse and mouse y post statement the random function to duplicate flowers. And this has more density and complexity like this. Then I'm going to go to the next slide. Oh, floral illustrations from this one embedded into geo geomerative library of processing to create generative typography. Then you can see that this is my initial generative illustration in processing. And this illustration has been embedded into the letter F. And I'm going to go to the next slide here. So if you go to, uh, if you download a geomerative library that there is a tutorial number seven, Hello World Get Point, that this is the tutorial code from geomerative library uh, in processing. Then if you go to the next slide, then I'm gonna go to the next slide here. And this one. Then I'm using mouse Y function to control the density. Also, I put push matrix and pop matrix to embed each flower into specific position of the letter form. And also, if you see that I have the, you will put your own code here that I put my flower code exactly in the geometric library here. Then original presentation, it has a video, but my uh, pre, uh, computer screen share doesn't work this morning. So I have to share the PDF that it doesn't have a uh, video, but it embedding your flower into geometric library that you can create a variation of a floral typography or lettering like this. Also, this is I'm using a seed font times new Roman. Also, I'm using several functions scale function, random function to control the scale of flowers and density like this. Then this is the final version. And in my code, I switch the letter F to flowers. This is the final version. Then last one uh, of the, this project and my personal project is this is a Korean. You may can see it too. Flower in Korean. Good. It is published in uh, United Designs Alliance Annual last year. And also it was invited for the solar exhibition, the Bible Plus Code version 2 at Trinity International University in Deerfield, Illinois, in America. So initially it was created for my solo exhibition. Then I'm gonna go to the next slide. Embedding computation in typography education already existed, but still touching and reverse of experimental typography outputs, lacking arranging with calligraphy, letter art, and typography. I'm gonna go to the next slide. How we as typography educators would offer foundational essential evolving typography methodology education and solutions by using computation as an extension of the calligraphy and letter art. So this is a generative typography system to create floral typography by using computation. So I'm gonna just introduce my class project or typography garden. I embedded my typography flowers into a class project in motion typography in the graphic design program in 19, uh, 2019 at the University of Wisconsin Medicine. Then you can see my students work. Go to this class project. Can you see it's a little slow? Okay. It needs at least eight weeks 
At the beginning, I introduced my graphic design majors, how to use processing, week two, computational drawing, week three, computational illustration, week four, how to use geometrative library, how to embed custom illustration into letter form or text by using geometrative library in processing, and week five, typeface choice, what kind of seed typeface we want to use. And week six, one-to-one -one discussion, week seven, group critique, week eight, final submission. I'm gonna just go to the this student's work. This is created by Yuri Kim. At the beginning, student explored how to create computational illustration, reminding us of flowers or floral elements. Then next one is, I'm gonna go to the next one. Next one, each student investigated find a self-chosen typeface to fit into his or her own computational illustration and learned how to apply their custom illustration into their letter forms in processing by using geometrative library. Then you can see that this illustration has been embedded into letter C genetically, not manually, not by using hand. And this is more variations from this illustration then using geometrical library to embed a custom illustration into here. Then I'm gonna just show you the next one. This is created by Bevan Almope from his own beautiful computationally generated, uh, generated illustration to a generative typography. He almost spent two weeks to find the right typeface to fit into his illustration. Then I'm gonna go to the next one. Also, this is created by Mo Chen. So he is originally from China. He used a Chinese character, it's a Chinese character, flower in English. So at the beginning, he created futuristic flowers on the left. Then he embedded his floral illustration into a Chinese character. In, in Chinese, which means it's flower in English. Also, this is created by Lauren Cheng, and she used special character, and, at, at, and, and. Then you can see, then, Next one is, this is German. Hopefully we have an audience today who read German. This is originally from a part of a, a portion of a poem erased by Edward Monik. It's a poem discussing the coming of spring. In English, Violet, always dreaming, will soon begin to bloom, listen, the sound of hop, spring, that must be you, it's you I've heard. Then she transferred this uh, portion of the poem to generative typography. You can, I'm gonna go to the next slide, and it's just scrolling here. This is a giant uh, poster, typography poster, measuring 84 inches tall by 160 inches wide. And I'm gonna go to the next one, this one, here. Then, if you zoom in, then you can see the beautiful details with each letter, like a B. And last project I want to share with you is generative typography. I'm gonna just go to generative typography. I, every spring, I teach creative coding for graphic design in the graphic design program at the University of Wisconsin Medicine. Then I have diverse students from art, graphic design, computer science, and business. This course is structured from unit one to three, four. 
So today I'm talking about unit one to three. Unit one, computational drawing and illustration. Most of our students, they had no pre-existing experience in computation. So at the beginning, students get used to how to create computational composition by using basic shapes and how to create more representational images like a floral illustration. Then you need to they learn how to make a visual interaction with your with their computational illustration. Then unit three is computational typography. Unit four is data driven typography, but I don't I'm not planning to talk about that today. And here it is. This one, this is created by Anjika Berna, Berma that it is from unit one project that you can see from the here. So you need more computational drawing and illustration. So student to explore experimental, innovative, inventive, plural illustration at the beginning by using processing like this. And this one, this is a video around three minute video. It's a sound interactive visualization from her initial computational illustration. It has uh, interaction with the mouse and keyboard interaction that whenever audience click the letter, the keyboard G, it increased the value of the color green. And like this from here, when audience click the keyboard P, it increased the value of the blue, came like a purple. Also from the video that there is a keyboard, the key to control density, opacity and stroke weight that you can see that this stroke weight has been controlled by audience, audience interaction like this. I'm gonna go to the Next one. And you can see that from unit one, computational drawing and illustration, sound visualization, computational typography. From this project, it goes to sound visualization and unit three, computational typography. Students learn how to embed their custom illustration into red form that you can see like this. Then you can see from here and here, this computation illustration has been embedded into letter A, capital A and small a, like this. Then next one is, is more like abstract typography uh, than using uh, geometrical library in processing. So student learn, I'm gonna just go to the beginning of my demo of my code that if you go to here, here. So at the beginning, so to create their own generative illustration and embed it into letter form by using geometrative libraries, tutorial seven, hello world get point tutorial. And this is exactly uh, students need to put their custom illustration into here. Then I'm gonna go to the presentation to finalize this presentation. I'm gonna go to here. Then also this one. This is created by Josephine this semester. Yeah, it's a visual interactive experience in a state of over anxiety created by Josephine Kotra this semester, particularly during the pandemic. Uh, it provides for the aesthetic experience for the mind balancing and compressing stress and anxiousness that I was planning to just share the video, but because of the technical uh, difficulty, I cannot share the video. And I'm gonna go to this is from unit one class project, computational drawing and illustration. And this is her unit two sound visualization with the sound interaction. 
and this one is her Unistry project, computational typography. That you can see that Josephine Cotra embedded her illustration into the letter A. You can see. Originally, this is a video that this is a video demonstration how mouse Y control the density of the letter A. And I'm gonna go to the last slide. From here, originally from unit or computational illustration and embed into letter form. And it is the same code with a different color scheme. You can see this. So I'm gonna go to the final presentation slide. I'm gonna go here. This learning system for generative typography suggests graphic design and typography education to explore illustrative and plural typography with the computer coders directly without long-term professional training in computer coders. So I'm gonna go to the last one. Yeah, so that's all I have today. Thank you so much for watching my presentation uh, today that I'm looking for future collaborative opportunities that if you have any question about my typography and research that you can uh, contact me yahn27 at we start edu. Also you can visit www.typeandcode.com. So actually this is the uh, project it's an extension from type plus code series also if you go to my website www.yohyeon.com then you can get the more information about me thank you so much for today and i would be welcome to have questions thank you the last slide from here originally from unit or computational illustration and embed into letter form and it is the same code with a different color scheme. You can see this. So I'm gonna go to the final presentation slide. Gonna go here. This learning system for generative typography suggests graphic design and typography education to explore illustrative and plural typography with the computer coders directly without long-term professional training in computer coders. So I'm gonna go to the last one. Yeah, so that's all I have today. Thank you so much for watching my presentation uh, today that I'm looking for future collaborative opportunities that if you have any question about my typography and research that you can uh, contact me yahn27 at we start edu. Also, you can visit www.typeandcode.com. So actually, this is the uh, project, it's an extension from type plus code series. Also, if you go to my website, www.yohyeon.com, then you can get the more information about me. Thank you so much for today, and I would be welcome to have questions. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. We did actually lose your audio at the very beginning. I don't know if you want to just repeat the intro or give us a quick uh, overview of what, um, what got you into uh, teaching floral um, typography? Oh, yes. So well, at, the, at the beginning of how, uh, okay, let me just, I, I think you can help us to help me to find where I can cover something. Yeah, I think if you just look at like the first, the first section slides one through seven, I think we got your audio working for most people after that. So it was really just the intro. Okay, I think, uh, did you got my voice from the beginning? Some people did and other people lost all the audio. So um, okay. yeah, just I think maybe just give us a, a recap of what, what maybe what got you interested in this area and um, inspiration. Yes, yes. Again, this is about my typography research as a graphic design typography professor 
in a uh, this institution in America, they are developing a generative typography system for typography education, that particularly plural typography, that it's a design trend of combining typography calligraphy and lettering with a floral element that my research reinterpret floral typography by using computation. Then I created my own solo exhibition uh, for the exhibition, the Bible plus code two, and I embedded my personal computational typography research and practice into the graphic design education system in the graphic design program at the University of Wisconsin Medicine. So this presentation is about uh, that particular uh, generative typography education system, like uh, unit one to three from computation, drawing, illustration, and sound interaction, how to create custom uh, computational and illustrative, expressive typography by using computation. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, and again, apologies to everybody for losing the sound at the beginning, um, for those who did, didn't have sound. And some people didn't have images, but um, uh, all, of these, all of the sessions are being recorded, so you can go back anytime over the next day or weeks, a couple of weeks at least, to, and re-watch anything that you missed or you um, want to watch over mm -hmm. again. So I'm just looking to see if we have, and we get lots of feedback about how beautiful and inspiring the work is. So thank you for that. So we have a question that has come in from Tom Grace, which is, mm -hmm. do students have a strong idea of what they want as results in their projects? Or is there a trial and error wait and see approach? That's an excellent question. Thank you, Tom Grace, ask this question. That actually, that's a foundation. At the beginning, uh, my, beyond this presentation, that my huge effort toward this class project is motivate my students who have a fear or concern about computer coding for particularly graphic design students. Also, strong motivation. I shared inspirational typography at the beginning uh, to inspire my students to you why we have to use a computation to explore more innovative typography form. Then your question is, yes, each student, as you say, that conceptually speaking, you, they have their own uh, visual concept that you can see that each student's work is very different. If you see, this is created by Yuri Kim, this is created by Beban Almope. It needs at least weeks, eight weeks to make a conceptualization at the beginning. And this is about my typography research as a graphic design typography professor in a recent institution in America that developing a generative typography system for typography education that particularly plural typography that is a design trend of combining typography calligraphy and lettering with a floral element that my research reinterpret floral typography by using computation. Then I created my own solo exhibition uh, for the exhibition, the Bible plus code two, and I embedded my personal computational typography research and practice into the graphic design education system in the graphic design program at the University of Wisconsin Medicine. So this presentation is about uh, that particular uh, generative typography education system, like uh, unit one to three from computation, drawing, illustration, and sound interaction, how to create custom uh, computational and illustrative, expressive, typography by using computation. And we get lots of feedback about how beautiful and inspiring the work is, so thank you for that. 